Hi and welcome to today's video. Oh, maybe I should take my glasses off. I'm filming in the evening, so I'm using artificial light. We'll see how it goes. Uh, my name is Rita. Welcome to my channel, 10 Red Lipsticks. Today is going to be a haul of new makeup I've gotten and skincare and shampoo and all kinds of things since October, I think. Um, and generally I haven't gotten to use it much yet so this is just a haul literally showing you what I got and I'm going to talk a bit about my low buy at the end of the video. Well actually the low buy is very simple. I'm going to limit myself to buying 12 eyeshadow palettes in 2023. I've already got three. They are in this video. We'll get to them when we get to them but um, in here I've got a couple of Black Friday orders or like November there were a lot of sales on um I've got stuff I got as Christmas gifts I've got things that I just picked up when I happened to see them um yeah so it's a whole mix makeup brushes eyeshadow palettes uh loads of skincare shampoo um it's a lot I've got a lot of palettes um yeah so let's get into it so first off, I, in October, got the KVD Planet Fanatic, yeah, palette from Boots. It was in their 12 euro Tuesday deal. Um, I did some swatches. I'm not sure if I got video or just pictures, but I will put that footage in. It arrived broken, but I repressed. It was just this shade that was broken. I, I just didn't open it on time because uh, I was busy. My friend was getting married that week. I was extremely busy. Um, so the reason I bought this is because it was on such a good deal, but I had actually swatched it in boots before and I just thought these shimmers looked really nice. This lighting is not the best to show them off, but I thought they looked really pretty and I know the recyclable packaging isn't as good as if it were recycled packaging, but you know, it has, so I think it has no metal pans. It's all just plastic. And therefore, if you empty out this palette completely, or you know, if you are finished with it and it's expired and you scrape out the ends, I don't think I'm gonna pan these shadows, but you know, maybe I'll fall in love with the formula, who knows. Um, then you can scrape it all out and then you can just put the entire packaging into your recycling if you've got plastic recycling like there aren't metal components here just with recycling makeup packaging generally you kind of have to go to a specialist recycling location and give it in because it's generally composites let me see if i've got something else here yeah so this is another plastic uh palette but you can see there there's a little bit of metal for the hinge of the palette to be able to open and close the other one is all plastic, so it's all one type of product. So this could all be put in for recycling together. I guess you'd have to remove the sticker. Excuse me, now that I say that, I see that the sticker is like good and solid and I think would come off easily in one go. Maybe it's even recyclable, I'm not sure. So yeah, that was my first thing. I got that in October, mid-October, and I have not tried it yet, which is kind of terrible. But I just, I didn't have time to repress it until the other day, so I didn't want to, like, make a mess and lose the broken shadow. Uh, and I had a feeling I would successfully be able to repress that. So that's way too long on the first item. Next, I have a Beauty Bay order. I put it all into this clear makeup bag, uh, which was just before Black Friday. So I got three makeup things. The Nabla Skin Glazing Blush in Lola. I already had the shade Independence, which I really liked. I got this because I got all of this stuff because it was reduced in this order. Um, so this was down to $12.85. Look at that sheen. I like this shade. I don't like it as much as I like the shade Independence that I already had. It's much more like kind of coral and bright. But for summer, I think this would be lovely. And I love the packaging of these. And like I have another skin glazing and I have a skin bronzing. So altogether, they look cute. And it's nice to have another shade in this lovely formula. Next up, another Nabla is the Cutie Palette in Platinum. Again, this was reduced. I can't remember exactly how much. Here are the shades. There's this cool neutral palette. This silver is why I wanted this. Lots of people 
say it's the best silver. And look at that, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I've used this once. I actually, I never do dramatic makeup and I wore this on, uh, at over Christmas to a family get together. Like it would be a totally neutral makeup occasion, but I was like, screw it. I wanna, I wanna try this out. Uh, so I did and I really like the packaging. I don't think I will get any more of the cutie palettes because none of the colour stories are perfect for me and even this I'm like there's nothing light enough for me in here really like there isn't a light enough matte so for me this is going to be a companion palette mainly for that amazing silver and I have other silvers I like. Now do I have another silver that's that good? I don't think so so I'm happy to have it and then I got it on a discount and another palette from Viseart. So I think this was maybe 15 euro and this was 25 I think um which are like half price so or like I think this one was half price and the Navla was I don't know maybe 40% off or something like that or 30. So this is the Viseart Minxet Etendue palette. I love the colour of the packaging. I hate that it has like I don't know cat print cheetah print or something all over it. It's just a warm neutral palette and this wouldn't have been the most exciting colour story to me though I think it's really nice but the fact that these are magnetic pans means I can pop them out and rearrange and use with other stuff and I think you can't beat fizzy art mattes. I think they're amazing so shimmers are nice too. I haven't actually used this specific palette yet but I am very happy to have it and even like it's the bigger size than their um the other fizzy art palettes I have but it's still really small for a 12 pan so like really good for travel like if if I were going on a longer trip and I wanted to have a cool tone palette a warm tone palette this would be a great warm tone palette to bring because like it's literally almost identical in size to this Nabla six pan and it has 12 pans so very cool and to get it on such steel is very good. I got these Kitsch Derma Planer like facial razors uh, for my face in general but particularly for my little uni brow um, and I just I keep misplacing these um, and I don't have the same old ones forever so good to get new ones and the big thing from that order was this Zit Sticker Exit Strategy kit that has the like more expensive deep spot patches the surface spot patches two sheet masks uh clay face mask and a sunblock so i've used the surface spot uh patches and they are great i've used the sunblock it's nice it is way too shiny for me to be happy to leave the house in on its own so if I were wearing this and not wearing makeup I would still set my face with the translucent powder I could not leave the house in just this uh but if you don't have oily skin if you have like acne prone dry skin maybe you would like this to wear on its own and you want more of a shiny look I do not want a more shiny look uh but I like this and it's been wearing well under makeup and stuff for me um I haven't had a huge problem with sunblock on my face give me spots but I don't live in a sunny place so like I often feel I don't need to reapply I'm fine because like the sun is setting at like five o'clock these days and it's pretty dim the rest of the time anyway so <laughs> uh the deep patches I haven't used yet there's only four um and I'm kind of saving these for closer to my wedding um <laughs> and then the I've done both face masks so this is the sheet mask I did it once and I liked it I'm not sure like how effective I could say it was I don't know um and I've done the clay mask once I don't know where I put it though so like I literally was thinking of doing it yesterday and today again and I couldn't find it so I need to relocate that and continue using it my other skincare order in November was for Selfless by Hiram. So they had everything 50% off for the whole of November. So I got this kit that had four serums, a moisturizer and a cleanser. And then I got a backup of the moisturizer and cleanser. So 
the moisturizer is this niacinamide and maracuja and the cleanser is centella and green tea the cleanser is possibly a bit too gentle for me i do have very oily skin it's fine i like it and it's good say in the morning um but i definitely prefer my la roche posay uh for like oily skin uh, i have two versions of those and um, i just feel like my skin needs more cleansing um and then the moisturizer i like a lot and i really like the bottles now i know people were giving out that these were small quantities um but like this bottle would be great to take traveling now what's the so it's 50 mils so i think that's relatively standard but like it's just sleek and slim and nice and they all of this where they tell you if you should use it in the morning or the evening and this is that you can use it in both and say this serum is for the evening so it has a little moon and this serum is also for the evening so the retinol is the only one i haven't used yet because whoop, maybe the end of october i in store in boots bought the La Roche Posay retinol which I really like I don't I think it's hard to recommend a retinol because they take a long time to work like it's it's something that you need to be using for months to get the effect um but I really like the application and it it smells nice um yeah I really like that and in store I also bought the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Night Hydro Boost Sleeping Cream Gel Mask Night. So I love all, everything in this range that I've tried. I think I've tried three things and they're all lovely. Um, it's like quite a like gel kind of a texture and like kind of keeps its shape once you touch it. And it just, loads of hyaluronic acid sinks in really nicely, feels very hydrating. Uh, but lightweight which for my oily skin having something that sinks in quickly is good because otherwise I just feel like I have to wash my face I can't stand it so big fan of that range and I figured I'd get the night version because nighttime is generally when I would use that no I actually used it in the morning this morning so I also got three La Roche Posay things um I was sick in December and it kind of ruined my skin my all around my nose from blowing my nose it was really red. I got a bunch of cold sores and then my lips were just really chapped so I got the, this is the Sigaplast Balm, I got this for my nose and it's like for irritated skin to soothe it and um, it feels so nice like it is just so nourishing and really feels beautiful so if i get any dry skin patches this is definitely what i'm going to be using on them i also got the hand cream because i i was trying not i was trying to make sure my partner didn't catch the bug that i had so i was washing my hands a lot uh, after i had my antibiotics and i was better and i was going out in public again i was still washing my hands a lot and using hand sanitizer a lot to make sure any Bugs weren't passing from me to anybody else, so I definitely needed the hand cream, and this works great as hand cream as well. So, love that, and those were all very affordable. The retinol was more expensive. I think it was on offer, so maybe it was reduced from like 40 to 30 or 30 to 20 or something. I can't remember exactly, but this is a more expensive item. These guys, much cheaper, so I don't know, maybe a tenner or something, or a bit less I'm not certain in TK Maxx just after Christmas on New Year's Eve actually I got a few things so I got this Eco Tools Brighter Tomorrow Bio Blender set so I had been looking out for these because this is the one that you can like throw in your brown bin which is compost throw in your comp compost which uh, I'm very interested about I know don't take my word for that. Read read that before you throw read about it before you throw it away that way. But um they're meant to biodegrade, which I feel much better about. And it came in three sizes, like this teeny weeny one for like concealer and stuff. And it has a sponge cleanser. I've just been cleaning this the way I clean my normal sponges with shampoo generally, baby shampoo. But I will definitely use this as well. So very happy to try this out. It feels lovely. It does feel feel a little different to a standard sponge, but not in a bad way. I love the shape 
and you've got like a variety of surfaces and it's just big I like a big sponge to do my face quickly uh, but also like you can get in under your eye with that corner I think that works well it feels lovely I'm very happy with this if I'm not sure exactly where I could get these in Ireland maybe boots I'm just not certain and um, as standard you know TK Maxx wouldn't always have the same things all the time so I was very happy to get to try this out even though it's only been a week I've been trying it Um, that day in TK Maxx I also got this Real Techniques brush for I think they said it was for concealer which I can totally see but I was thinking of using it for highlighter it's the O21 um, Real Techniques and this is obviously like a limited edition I actually have a bunch of these um, or maybe not a bunch maybe just one and I just dropped it anyway with the same handle and I love these skinny handles like tapered this way as opposed to tapered fat because those Real Techniques brushes are really hard to squeeze into uh, brush holders <laughs> and on the same day I got these Choose a Wave of brushes so this big powder brush which is lovely I've been using it last few days Lux Grand Powder 90 very nice and this teeny tiny blending brush uh, Lux Defined Crease 224 so it's just really small and I love that for my eye shape and obviously as you can see these brushes are already dirty I have been using them. Right before Christmas I was in Pennies which is Primark, what Primark is called in Ireland and I was getting like socks. Me and my partner, well we weren't going to do big Christmas presents um, and then but I was just getting like socks and like de deodorant and like itty bitty tiny things and I found some of the Villains range, which includes two more brushes. So I have the Ursula brush and the Scar brush from the range. And I thought those were really cute. I love that you can see Ursula there. Yeah, very cool. Can I put these back in the brush holder with the rest of them? I got this Ursula blush with maxi blush so it's actually huge it is has nine grams of product in it and I was looking at some other stuff that had less than half of that so um it's more of a bronzery kind of color for me I have tried it it was nice and it has like the highlighter in the middle and the blush all around the outside this is a real you're in a rush you actually just use this as like your blush bronzer and highlight all in one kind of a shade and I quite like that uh my favorite blush of the year was a brown blush from Kika Milano that I very much feel I can do that because it has a bit of a sheen and it's a bronzer coloured blush so I think it's perfect for that uh, and even to be honest just for this packaging like double chin yeah yeah very good I actually really wanted the Ursula hand cream because it had the picture of Ursula's full body which is on this brush I'm not sure if you can see it and this is going to sound ridiculous but like this is what people like me look like and because obviously she's part octopus or whatever but like generally when we see a full body in the majority of her media it's a very thin person but to see a fat person on something even if she's a fictional character I find very pleasing and very good so yeah that makes me really happy this Evil Queen hand cream is lovely. It smells amazing. The scent is Fresh Melissa. There's 75 mils in here, which isn't huge, so I'm definitely going to use this up. I finished the Essence Mini hand cream from like the mini collection. I think that was last year in record time because it's like quite a lightweight hand cream that absorbs quickly. This is very similar formula wise, so I'm going to I'm going to fly through it. But I really love it and I'm very happy with those bits. I did not think you could get that collection in store in Ireland. I was really surprised to see it. They didn't have the eyeshadow. But they, that's all they had. I I, I got everything they had. Um, maybe they had like duplicates of some of them. But uh, I don't even think they did. <laughs> they had the testers of the eyeshadow palettes. But not the eyeshadow palettes. So I was just very, very surprised to see that. This Lacura... Girl Gone Bad Mascara, which is my favourite mascara of the year. 
I liked it so much I got it back up the other day or like a while ago um, when I saw they are clearly not going to have it anymore in the shop because uh, they do that they'll just like in the middle aisle have have a makeup product for a while and then it's just gone and next the most exciting thing before we actually get to the biggest order so I I've been in this in search of the perfect bronzer for pale skin and you hear tell that such things do exist so I got the Gucci bronzer <laughs> so this is <laughs> so beautiful it's in this little bag It's just ridiculously stunning. So you can see that the shade, like if I'm looking at other bronzers, is more pink toned than other bronzers. And that's what I need. So this was a ridiculous treat. Um, and it, pff, definitely a because it's the end of the year type of vibe. I did get it on a discount, but yeah. Uh, they also gave me two samples so I'm I want to take photos of this before I swatch it but if if I haven't swatched it by the time I put this video up then go check out my Instagram and I will have swatches of this up soon I might even do a video where I compare this like to the Nabla bronzer the flower bronzer like others that are light enough for me I feel and see how the shades compare and Jen Phelps has done a lot of that comparing uh, bronzers for pale skin that I definitely appreciate and take her word on. Gucci lipstick. Absolutely beautiful little mini and I was so excited. It's a red and I think it's going to be quite easy to apply. I haven't tried it yet. Again I want to take photos. And then also a little blush brush. So in the pink colour again and I thought that was really cute and very sweet that they threw that in. So next, my biggest order was from Cosmetic for Less. So this is the stuff that's not eyeshadow palettes and then we've got three palettes that I got with this order. So... JCap Beauty, I got this Extreme Access Pocket Shadow in Pops of Paparazzi. Like I did so a look yesterday, I, I didn't properly do my makeup yesterday, but I was like, I may as well try out this formula. And I used this, which doesn't really show up, unfortunately, mixed with this, which then that worked. And just this pink, and the pink is really beautiful. And this gold is really beautiful. And this green and this neutral. These two, not really my thing, not really my thing. But I also don't have that many colourful palettes. So this is kind of filling a gap in my collection. So the other guys, the other three palettes I bought in 2022. These I bought in 2023. So this is the first of my 12 palettes that I'm buying this year. I hopefully have inserted swatches. If not, this is the time the swatches will appear. Um, next is the Catrice. Pro Slim Eyeshadow Palette Next Gen Nudes 010 Courage is Beauty. So this is just like a pinky neutral palette. Uh, very much my vibes. I actually haven't swatched this yet. I will do that eventually. But this is an older palette. There's like a lot of swatches. The, the JK is as well. There's a lot of swatches uh, available. And I haven't tried any of the Catrice palettes in this format. And this is the one I was most interested in. So that's the one I got. So that's number two on my 12 of the year. And then most exciting, this is the outer box. Isn't that so pretty? And this is the palette, is the Nabla Read My Mind. So I wanted this since it launched earlier in 2022. This is the prettiest packaging I've ever seen. So it's like tiles, like these are all raised. And inside the format's a little unusual. So you've got the rows have names. And I guess if you're right-handed, it's handy because it's easy to hold it here and then do your makeup with your right hand. If you're left-handed, then the 
it's a bit redundant that the space is on the left. But the rows are named Scarlet, Rose, Sage and Honey and I have swatched this so I will show you the swatches. So you've got two kind of rosy rose, scarlet rose and then you've got a greeny row or turquoisey row called Sage and then a warm neutral row called Honey. I think these shimmers look so beautiful. I have not tried them on my eyes just yet. I will soon. This palette was extremely discounted on Cosmetic for Less. It also is just cheaper on Cosmetic for Less than it is on other sites, including the Nabla site, or maybe not the Nabla site, but definitely Beauty Bay, which is the other place I've been looking at buying this before. So I was extremely happy to get this on such a discount and it was really the inspiration for placing this entire order. And when you order from Cosmetic for Less from where I live, it is... I think maybe 12 euro or 10 euro or something shipping. I really hate paying for shipping. I hate it a lot. And my partner very kindly gave me a gift card that was like a prepaid credit card. So it's like a voucher, but you can spend it in any shop. But they're not, you can't top them up. So I ordered something from Just My Look, which I will talk about in a minute. And I ordered, and I got my hair cut short now um with the voucher and then I had money to spend so I had to spend something exact like 127 euro and 26 cent I think was the amount so I worked very hard on cosmetic for less to get my order to exactly that amount so some of the stuff I'm going to show you now is a bit random but the reason that I ordered this specific combination of things is to get to that value um, so I got two brush sets, this one from Essence, Precious Little Things, and I just love, like, really, really like the handles. So these, like, clear, sparkly purple handles. Purple is my favourite colour. I also love a big face brush, so <laughs> always happy to have more of those. And then we've got, like, a blush brush, three eyeshadow brushes, which are all shapes I would use and a an angled brow brush or a liner brush but I don't wear eyeliner so I would prefer if the brow if the liner brush was a spoolie because I use an angled brush in my brows but I have more need of spoolies than I do of angled brushes so very happy with this I think it was a tenner and I think it's so pretty and sparkly and then essentially aesthetically to go with that brush set and because it's something I've been curious about for a long time I got a Nabla brush set so I think this the Amethyst collection comes with this like stunning duochromatic there it is green yellow purple absolutely beautiful so this brush set has only eye brushes and it goes from this like very, very large brush to teeny tiny little ones. And lots of these are quite small and are gonna work really well for me. Like I'm very excited about this blending brush here. Do they have names? Yeah, N203. The giant one is N302. And maybe to like blend out a cream shadow like to set your lid or something but other than that I think my highlighter is what I might use this for but no harm to have a precision highlighter brush all the rest of the brushes look interesting to me this guy is like angled on one side and then flat that's very interesting to me N202 and I just think they're really pretty and if I get out some of the if I get out all of the essence brushes then you can see that not that they look like they match but I just think the purple and purple total mess purple and purple very pretty and I'm very happy with that and then you can even see with the Real Techniques brush and the Essence Disney bro Villains brushes that we got quite a bit of purple and pink in here. And I think that's so nice. 
and while I have way too many makeup bags I am very happy to have this one in my collection. I actually started collecting makeup bags before I started collecting makeup. I have a weakness for makeup bags. Next up some skincare. So I have the Catrice Sensitive Gel to Oil Cleanser. Only five ingredients. One of them I think is palm oil. But <laughs> I have tried this. It is lovely. I, yeah, very happy with this. And again, my sister has quite sensitive skin. So having a sensitive makeup remover in my house is a plus. And it's next up, some hair care. I got this shampoo for oily hair by this Polish brand Saj. I don't know. I should get my Polish friend to tell me how to pronounce this word I have a hand cream from them extremely affordable like crazy affordable like I think this was like a euro or le like and look at the size of this now maybe that means it's not the world's best shampoo but that it's even thinking about oily hair is good for me because I, I my oily skin is just an all-over issue other than dry hands from overwashing and then this L'Oreal Siri Siri Expert Intra Plain Volumetry Anti Gravity Effect Volume Conditioner. So, this is just a small bottle of conditioner. And I actually thought the big bottle of shampoo and the very small bottle of conditioner, I might use them up at the same time because I don't need as much conditioner as I do shampoo, though I do tend to over condition. But maybe I won't with such a small bottle. I'll be thinking more about not letting it all get used up. I kind of think Moomin's at a bad angle where you can only see one of his eyes. Is that better? Is that a better? You happy there, Moomin? Um, so yeah, I haven't tried either of these yet, but happy to try them out. And this is what I mean by random, like I was trying to get up to that exact amount. Um, two lip products. The Eveline Cosmetics Oh My Kiss Lipstick in 08. This guy here. And the LA Girl Lipify Stilo in Honeymoon. Does it have a number? Can't see. So I love a skinny long lipstick. This is more of a traditional lipstick. Maybe I'll put some on now. Give me one sec. Do, do, do. And we'll see how this colour works. Do I have a mirror? So it smells really crayony. Which I just need to remember if I don't use for a while and then come back to use it. That it always smelled like that. So yeah, I think this colour is too pale or too something. I don't love it. But I'm going to give it more of a try. I didn't buy this because of any recommendation from anyone. I literally bought it because of the shape. And I was looking in between this shade and shade number 10. And my favourite number is 8, so I picked 8. Obviously, I thought it looked nice in the pictures on the website as well. But I'm not sure. I will try it out more though. And maybe I just don't have the right look. Or maybe it needs... A particular lip liner like maybe it needs a darker lip liner and then this LA girl in the shade honeymoon was purely for sentimentality because I am getting married and I thought honeymoon was cute I'm just gonna put it on top very cool toned I think this is a little bit more my vibe no, I'm also now thinking maybe I like this better than I did the other day when I first put it on because it's over the Evelyn one. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try that out with cool tone looks and see if I like it. Okay, I couldn't find the lip balm I was wearing earlier, so I have a clear lip balm and then some of the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Insider on top now. It's fine. <laughs> Next... The nail varnish I am wearing at the minute is from Essence and it's the Hidden Jungle collection. The shade is 03 Golden Hour and you can see it has this lovely gold sheen to it and I'm very happy with it. This is a nail base coat 
and two layers of this and no top coat and I put it on yesterday and it's not chipped. I did do a tiny chip while waiting for my first coat to dry on my right thumb because that's my dominant hand Um, I find it very hard to wait long enough for polish to dry on my right hand Um, but I've gone over it with the second, second coat and it hasn't all disintegrated yet. Now Tomorrow I'll have a chip. That's fine. Um, I use my hands a lot. I'm not. I'm not good at protecting my nail varnish, but I really like the color. Uh, so I would get it if you see it. Next, another essence, and this is just a replacement. I've had this before. Maybe not. Not in 2022, but in 2021. This is the essence make me brow eyebrow gel mascara in. What's the shade? Oh, four ashy brows. So this is a fibre, oh you can't really see, sometimes you can see like a bunch of little, I have a brow pencil in but maybe I'll do a little, and the problem with this is it's quite pigmented, so especially now when it's new, I'm afraid I'll do too much. That's not too bad but I would like to go through it with a clean spoolie. This is why I want more spoolies to be able to, I know lots of you are like, Girl, put more stuff in your brows, what are you doing? But I just, I get brow shock very easily because I have such fair brows naturally that I look like a different person with heavy brows. So yeah, very ha happy to have this again. I really needed a brow gel in this format, like quick and easy format for me to do because doing my brows is one of my least favorite steps. So now you can see them better through my fringe, that they are real, they are there. Uh, this is the Battalion Tools spoolie that I love. Um, as this dries out a bit, it'll get kind of easier for me to do, but huge fan of that, glad to have it again. A new product I haven't tried before that I picked up is the Makeup Obsession Game Set Matte, Matte Baked Powder. And this is a big dome of baked set setting powder. And the fact that it says it's matte, it's in the shade Cabo. Which I fell in love with that baked blush from Kika Milano and other baked products this year. So I thought a baked powder will be handy. And also I thought it might last a bit longer than other powders, even though, because I, I use a lot of powder, even though I have a lot of powder. So that's not really a concern. But I wanted to try that out. I thought it was interesting. And then I also got the Revolution, Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define Satin Matte Powder Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Cannabis Sativa. So this nice drugstore does high-end packaging where it's like, doesn't feel like cheapy cheap, like it's going to fall apart. Like some essence stuff feels like it's not long for this world, which I think is fair enough when it's like very cheap. This doesn't feel that it's going to fall apart, but it like it's plastic. It's just giving you the look of metal. Uh, and then inside we've got a big mirror, which isn't the best mirror. It's not great. Uh, we've got a puff, which is very nice that we've got in here. And then and like I'll keep this puff after I'm finished this foundation. Then we've got a clear cover and then the foundation is there so this is the shade p1 which might mean like pink undertone one or i don't know exactly what it means um and or is the first letter of my name so that's nice um <laughs> so i am excited to try this i have the fenty powder foundation i'm nearly finished the kiko that is too, far too warm for me so i haven't tried this shade yet, yet. i also was very excited to get four nabla singles so I got two mattes in Circle and Petra and I got two shimmers or actually it says that Pegasus is a satin which will be accurate I've swatched it and it makes sense and that Juno Moon is a bright. These are all beautiful they're magnetic pans they're not 26 millimeters just if you are getting Nabla singles they're freaking huge and um, I'll show you but the ABH I think are definitely 26 and then that's the Nabla so like I don't know what size it is like 30 I, I don't know um so it's bigger just you need like a loose palette for them like this because they're not going to fit into 
a 26 millimeter panned palette that just happens to be magnetic or if you're very lucky you have an actual Nabla uh, palette so this is a six pan palette from Nabla so it fits six of their shades and I really love it I think it's so pretty so finally man this video is long I have some free samples so again from this Polish brand Z Ziaja I don't know um leg cream leg gel very interested in this my legs would get very sore sometimes after work sometimes we're really busy and we're standing a lot and goat's milk serum energizing and smoothing so definitely want to try these out and uh, that's everything it's a lot most of this was a gift from my partner I'm extremely grateful i got him a very small christmas present so like feel, feel a bit bad about that <laughs> he got me this very generous stuff that i picked out myself um i am now going on low buy i am going to try to buy no makeup before the wedding other than possibly a lip product for the wedding itself and i'm going to stick to my 12 palettes this year i'm sticking to it unless something absolutely exceptional happens i'm sticking to that 12 um and even if something exceptional happens and i really want to be just more aware of what I'm buying so like the love I found of powder foundation this year it makes a lot of sense that in all of this there isn't a liquid base product but I just don't feel bad at all about, about buying another powder foundation because having like at the minute three in my collection but I have an enormous pan and one it's very nearly finished in fact it's nearly impossible to use now the pan is so big so I'm gonna have to scrape it and repress or depot or something to make it usable again so I just this makes a lot of sense and it was a steal like I did not buy anything full price from anywhere <laughs> like the essence villains collection was full price and I think everything else was on a discount. <laughs> so I am pretty happy with that. Now, buying only stuff that's on a discount can mean I buy stuff that isn't my favourite. So I don't expect this to be a top favourite palette because it's just too dramatic and deep for me. I expect this to be an occasional palette. But for such a good discount, I'm happy to have an occasional palette. And uh, now I think in 2023... I don't want to buy too many occasional palettes. The J-Cat Beauty is definitely an occasional palette. It's so colourful. But the other two, I think, can be absolute standard everyday palettes for me. And they're palettes I was very interested in for a long time. I really want to not buy any pressed powder blushes this year. That might be impossible. <laughs> I love blush. I love blush so much. It is unusual for me that I think there's only only two blushes in all of this um but the reason for that really is I've found my favorite 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 which is baked like kind of satin blushes and I don't want to fill up my collection with more powder blushes and then still only keep using the baked ones the vast majority of the time so those are some thoughts for my low buy for this year. I'm not going to set a goal of only spending a certain amount of money. Last year, I kind of tried to spend, stick to spending 24 euro a month. S many months I stuck to it, many months I didn't. And I found it very difficult to track. This year, I'm just trying to be more mindful. Keep in mind the specifics of like, I, do, I don't need any powder blush. So if I choose to buy one, I think it has to be exceptional. And I need to accept the reality that it's unlikely it's going to be a favourite because my favourites are baked. I definitely don't need any more brushes this year. But that is something that I do find, you know, these brushes from Nabla in particular, they're going to be an investment. And I, I'd say I'm going to fall in love with them. Like these Zoeva brushes I've already started to love after just a week of use and the it's a way for brushes I've had for much longer. The Bedellium Tools, the those are the more kind of high-end brushes I've had for a long time. And then all the drugstore ones, Real Techniques, Eco Tools in particular that I just love and I use every single day. So I'm kind of happy to 
invest even though it's a bit over the top like I can see most of my brushes right now and it's way too many <laughs> way too many um so I'm happy enough with that but I'm definitely going to be mindful for the next year that's not something I'm in need of so one quick mention of two other purchases I made so another one was with the gift card from my partner and I ordered the Maxim Geocoma, I don't know how to pronounce his name, a uh, German influencer, I'll put his name up here, um, collab face palette with Catrice because it is baked and I thought that would be so fun and nice. I really want to get the Kiko baked face palette that was in their Christmas collection. I might, you know, Kiko have great sales uh, so I might wait over the summer, they might have a great sale and go for that. But uh, I ordered this one from Just My Look. I won't get it until February because I had it sent to my sister in London and she's going to bring it over when she's visiting. I ordered a face brush set. <laughs> More brushes. Uh, but they are specifically for skincare because one thing I have noticed is I hate putting on thick face masks with my hands. And then it's like a lot of washing to get it off your hands. So I thought a skincare brush set would make a lot of sense. And the Catrice X Jenny collab lip set, which I was very interested when it launched. It looked really beautiful. I was interested in the liquid blush. Very glad I didn't buy that. That would have been ridiculous. So I don't think I would have liked that. But I was just interested. Her whole vibe went with the launch. I was like, that's so beautiful. Um, yeah, this is another German influencer that Catrice have collect collabed with. I have the eyeshadow palette. I love it. I got the lip set. So, and that was three for two. So I think maybe the lip set was free. Paid for the other two very excited about those and then the most exciting in December nothing to do with this gift or anything just when I was feeling bougie and ordering the Gucci bronzer I ordered the Glamonitrix Nearly Natural palette from Australia so I've ordered the palette and then I've also ordered two single shimmers because those are 26 millimeter pans and they're all magnetic and you can pop them out so like I have pans I love already from Sydney Grace and I don't actually love those ABH singles but other 26 millimeter pans that I love Glam Shop Poland as well that I could have put into the Glaminatrix palette but I thought it'd be nice to keep it all Glaminatrix. So the reason I thought I might want to swap out a couple of shades is two of the shades just look very deep and like in the swatches I was like I don't think I'll use those shades so I figured I'll get two more just in case I want to rearrange and make the palette suit me better and then it would have even more shimmers which would suit me even better as well. So I'm very excited about that. I will definitely make a video and do swatches and stuff when I get that palette in but it's a pre-order. It's shipping in February so it might be March by the time I get it. We'll see. Um, so I wasn't going to make wait to make this video until after that arrived. So I'll show you the blush palette and the brushes and the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palette um, when they arrive. I'm not mm, I'm not sure if I would count the Nearly Natural as part of my 12 palettes for 2023 because I did buy it in 2022. I'm going to think more about that. Are you over shopping like I have done since September? Like the amount of stuff I'm looking at is ridiculous or are you on, on a low buy? Like I'm going on now and trying to be a sensible grown up, as I say with my mum and Teddy in the background, um, for the next year. Let me know in the comments. Um, my number one low buy advice would be to do any kind of project planning, tracking your usage, anything, trying to use something up, even a basic skincare product, just to notice, like oh, this, this is starting to feel light. And then just write that down. Like, oh, on the 12th of January, my moisturiser started to feel light. And then you realise, oh, it's not until the 7th of February that I actually ran out of it. Like, I still had weeks of use left where after it started to feel light. And then if you really are finding it very hard to go back on buying things, cut something open and have a look at how much is still inside when you think it's empty because if you're if you're struggling financially there's lost product hidden at the bottom of all your stuff 
uh, and that can help particularly with skincare with makeup I definitely think usage tracking in terms of you know this is my favourite palette, I use it all the time and you just note down how many times you use it in a month and maybe it's 30 times maybe you use that palette every single day but often maybe it's 10, maybe it's less than that and you realise oh I'm not able to use my favourites as often as maybe I assumed I was using them because that's not the only thing I own. Now maybe it is, maybe you're, maybe you're very good at buying a thing that you're very interested in and using it and using it and using it, which is great. And in which case, maybe you're in less need of a no, low buy. Uh, or maybe you are because you buy something really expensive and really beautiful that you really love and then you use it up. I don't know. But for me, I I need a low buy with strict rules because new things come out and they're beautiful. And I want them. And the Essence and Catrice things I want are not that expensive individually, so it's very easy to say, ah, sure, even if I buy three or four things, it's only 15 euro. That's not going to put me on the streets. And it's not. But if it's 15 euro every month for the year, or even more frequent than that, which is what it's turning out to be, then that's an issue. I am definitely going to allow myself to buy Essence and Catrice during the year without as much issue as buying other things. A, I can buy some of their stuff in person. And when I buy it in person, I can buy seven euro worth of stuff. If I order online, I have to buy more. It is just not worth paying sometimes 12 euro shipping for a seven euro order. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so I really have to buy more. And loads of them are like, we're not even willing to let you pay for, loads of websites are like, no, we're not even willing to let you pay for delivery to only get something that costs three euro, <laughs> which loads of things I want would be like that. Um, so if I see stuff in pennies, picking it up in person and getting just one thing, is much better than ordering online and being like, well, I may as well get three or four shades. Um, but also they do do limited edition stuff. The Disney stuff, like I don't just have this because I wanted a hand cream. I did want a hand cream. I have this because it's Disney villains. It's the, it's the evil queen. Like, look at her, look at her with her apple. Oh, so fun, so nice. I didn't get any of the eyeshadow palettes. I didn't buy any of this on collection online because I was like, I can live without it. But finding it in store meant I was able to buy a couple of things. And this is just special, you know. It's a special thing to have. And I am going to allow myself to get limited edition things. Not, not beyond my 12 palettes rule. Absolutely not. But in general give myself some leeway for the fact that, you know, I won't be able to get this next year if I wanted it next year. Or, well, maybe I would on a couple of websites. I don't know if this collection sold out yet or not. But, um, yeah, the limited edition stuff does disappear. And I do regret a few years ago they had a Disney Princesses collection. And while I didn't love the packaging, the design was not as cute as this at all. Um, I preferred the shape because they were standard as opposed to this weird like this isn't a real shape this is very weird um but the formula was apparently good and the color stories were good and even though it wasn't the perfect execution of the theme it's such a good theme um so yeah I regret not getting those I wish I had so those are my thoughts on my low buy not very cohesive Good luck editing that, Rita. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will link the websites I bought from down below. Beauty Bay, Cosmetic for Less, Just My Look, in store in different places in Ireland, uh, the Glaminatrix website, Selfless by Hiram. Um, yeah, I think that's all the online orders. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.